Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm going to be changing the battery in my Durango. And it goes exactly under this seat. So I got to take off this little cover. The one on that side. And we're going to have a nut under there. I still don't know the size. And... We're also going to take this cover off, that cover off, and right here, you got the battery. So I already picked up the battery about two days ago, and um, it's been raining and really bad weather, so I'm going to try to do it today and uh, see what happens. So I've been cleaning my, uh, my shed, and I can find some screwdrivers, so I'm going to use a little knife here. There you go. There's one cover, and the second one. And I don't mind if I make a small little scratch on here. So you can tell how the kids have it. So there's that one. Okay guys, so it's 15 millimeters there. And basically just unscrew them and wait for the next step. Well, how long are these? Here we go. I gotta take off four of these. Alright guys, so I took off four bolts. I'm gonna lift the seat. Alright guys, well it seems that if I fold the seat in this direction, I can just lift everything up. Here's a better angle. That's how it's folded. And I can do that without a disconnecting this wire. Ooh, some bread and a quarter and a nickel and a penny so now my battery doesn't cost two hundred and twenty dollars so here's my terminals that look you know pretty snug on there and um, I didn't know if I had an issue with my terminal or my battery but this battery is the original one from uh, 2013 and I guess as it's in here it's kind of air-conditioned um, it lasts a lot longer. Look at these battery cables. Check it out. It's like my car audio uh, wiring. All right, guys. So I think this is probably gonna be like a uh, probably a ten millimeter or something. Let's see if it is. Yep, it's a ten. So I'll go ahead and take off the negative one there, just so when I'm with my ratchet, I don't hit bare metal like this and cause a spark and burn the car down but uh yeah let me do that take the battery off sometimes you might need a screwdriver to help you pry them off this one i uh, took it off i have a real hercules strength and we'll do the same thing on this one here, just wiggle it a little bit with this plastic. Let me use both hands here. So, I'm going to cut out real quick. So, I'm thinking this is to keep this cable at a certain angle. To keep it like at this angle. Um, now, we got to find out how this battery is bolted down. Oh, man. And it's probably bolted down somewhere here in the back. Hopefully the seat's not in the way or I might have to unplug it. Alright guys, so those are 14 uh, millimeter down there. As you can see, can't reach them. But I was able to find an extension which took me about 20 minutes. Alright guys, so I got a 14 millimeter there. I got about a 12 inch extension here on my ratchet. And um, I was having trouble finding one because I've been moving everything in my shed. I've been cleaning. Now these, I don't know if I have to take them off or loosen them up. So let's loosen them up. And... Alright guys, my camera cut off. But I already took off two uh, nuts down there. 
go ahead and uh, pick this up here. There's the mounting holes. And there's the 14 millimeter nut. This is uh, the little hose that's gonna plug into my other battery there so I can uh, release uh, the gases onto the outside of the vehicle, I guess. So I'm gonna pull this battery up. Oh boy, and I'm sweating like crazy. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this out here, get some of those coins out. You know, take my wife to uh, to lunch or dinner was that. And uh, is that a hot Cheeto? All right, let me go get my other battery. All right, guys. So <clears throat> here's the battery in here, and supposedly this one's rated for 800 versus 700 on the one I had in here before, and. Um, that's about other information the other battery shows. But my positive goes here. Negative goes there. But before all that, I gotta put the this thing to hold the battery in there. And um, just continue from there. Like I'm doing I'm doing this one-handed here. I'm trying to film and it's kind of difficult. So I was gonna do the the voltage test on it right now, and the old battery would read 12.5 disconnected but once i would plug it in it would drop to 12.2 and once my key was in the run position it would go to about 11.9 to borderline 12 so that's the reason i was swapping out the batteries but i couldn't get that one-handed and um it's sweating real bad here so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this um i'm gonna put the terminals on here oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put the positive terminal in here. That way I can squeeze the push the battery this way and I can go ahead and clamp it down. All right guys, so I got the terminal on there and I used my 10 millimeter to tighten this down. And I, I moved the battery as far as I could this way to lock it in place. Now I gotta put this piece down here. And um, that will hold the battery from uh, jumping up. And then I just gotta hold down these nuts and continue to the next step, which would be the terminal and then the little hose here. So, all right, guys, so I got bolts down there uh, where the nuts tight, and um, there's a little hole here on the battery where you can put this uh, connector, just pop it in place. As you can see, it snapped in place there, and uh, you gotta make sure we take these off. Darn tools with me, so I'm gonna have to. I don't even know where I left my knife at. So and then I got these little terminals here, these little round thingies that's supposed to uh, prevent corrosion or something like that. And there was a small spark there. I don't know if you heard it. And you know that's perfectly fine. All I want to do is uh, make sure that terminal goes a little bit lower there. And there we go. Now if I tighten it, the top and the bottom will hold on to the, the terminal post there. Otherwise the top would just clamp over and not do anything. Once again, a 10 millimeter. So we got the, both of these tied down. We got the, this little hose here for the exhaust, for the exhaust and gas, the clamp on there. And um, let me go ahead and see if it cranks on, it should. And there we go. Whew. And um, I had to bring a towel because I'm sweating like crazy. So I feel like I'm in Florida at the moment. 
you know, all this hurricane, all this rain we've been getting. So, yeah, next is just put the cover on here, put the seat down. And I did take off this little, you know, I unplugged it from here. That way I can get a little bit more slack on the cable. So I'll just put that back when I'm done. Lower the seat. And uh, make sure all this is uh, where it's supposed to go. You know. I tried taking this plug off and I couldn't. So snapped it back in place. <clears throat> but looking good. So my charging seems to be about 13.7. Let me turn off the AC here. Or at least lower it. You know, I'm used to seeing more of a a high 14 on, well, a mid 14 volts. And, um, but it could be because the battery's like way back here. You might have voltage drop, who knows. But um, the other battery, you know, you'll be running and it will be similar to that. And once I would turn it off, we'll go to like around 12.5 or something. And if I would turn on my headlights or, you know, something, if the vehicle was off and I would turn on and put a load, man, it would drop in the 11s quick. So hopefully this was the issue I was having. Um, I just got to finish them back. So the cover's in place. Now I'm gonna just drop this down. And it looks like it's uh, pretty close to where it's supposed to go. You know, I can put a a bolt, a screw in there. So I'll just go ahead and line it right now. Put all the the bolts in place, the little covers, and uh, we'll end the video. All right, guys. So I got the. The boat's on there snug and we're reaching the end of the video here hopefully i can go inside and rest now and here's the last little cap i gotta move my seat forward and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video like i said um it's uh about a 30 30 minutes to an hour job i mean if you have all the tools, you're not going to waste any time. Now, I had to spend some time vacuuming, like around here, taking out coins and whatnot, you know, recording, doing several things. But um, if you're pretty handy, I say 30 minutes, uh, you'll get it done. You'll get it knocked out. So, like I said, I used uh, a metric 15 socket, a 14, a 10. A small three inch extension a longer uh you can go with a 10 or 12 inch extension then like you need like a little flathead screwdriver i used a little knife here that i use for all my projects and most of my tools were found in a 30 dollar uh set for a model zone but um i needed that extra extension cord to, or the extension uh for my sockets and oh boy it's humid today so that's it for this video guys and hopefully y'all like it and uh, share and comment and whatnot y'all know what to do all right guys bye bye